Hi, good morning. My name is Zyrus, uh, Zy for short, and I would just like to share to you some helpful tips when you are traveling to Fukuoka. I uh, have been there just this uh, uh, month, first week of August, and it, it is summer and it is extremely hot. By the way, uh, we will be talking about the subway passes that will help you in navigating this beautiful city in Japan. So first things first, at the airport or at the uh, main station, you can get this uh, map. So this is the official Fukuoka City Tourist Map. It has uh, a very big map and it's um, back to back, you see? And it also uh, will show you the place of interest and uh, other recommendations. The best thing that I uh, uh, experience is this. Since I love ramen and uh, I have planned to visit, visit the uh, branches of Ichiran, so I was able to navigate well because of this map. So let's go to the main topic. So I got here three um, subway passes. Three subway passes. So let's start with the cheapest one, the one day pass. So this one, you can buy it at the vending machine. I guess this is 620 yen and this will allow you to ride the subway for one day all you can. So I guess it starts from 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. I don't know. I usually wake up at 10 a.m. and then the uh, subway operates until 12 midnight. So if you'd like to go anywhere, just do a joyride using this one. It will give you unlimited access. Because say for example, you will just be traveling from the nearest station, from Hakata station to Nakasu Kababata station. It will already cost you 200 yen for just that short distance. So using this one and uh, going from one station to another multiple times on a day will really help you save a lot. So the next thing would be this pass. The only difference is that this is a two-day pass. So I guess this is 900 plus yen, less than 1000 yen. And the uh, same thing as the first one, it's just you can use it for two days. So usually Fukuoka is just a small city and um, you can cover many things already in a day or two. So yeah. And then the last one, the most expect expensive among the three is the Fukuoka Tourist City Pass. So this is a one-day ticket and it costs me, it's costed me 1,340 yen. So the good thing about this is that you can already um, visit the Zaifu, which is a uh, very famous um, tourist spot in Fukuoka. Instead of buying 800 yen back and forth ticket, it's already included on this one. And also a unlimited subway ride for one day. So yeah, there you have it. These are the three things that will help you save money, save uh, time, and save stress. It helped me a lot and I, I hope it does uh, help you too as well when you travel to Fukuoka. So, thank you for watching. Bye!